Hello, and welcome to the Guadalupe Community Center and Shelter with Catholic Charities of Weld County. We're excited about your interest in volunteering with us, and we're looking forward to having you as part of our mission. Our mission statement is, as the charitable arm of the Archdiocese of Denver and inspired by God's love and compassion, Catholic Charities extends the healing ministry of Jesus Christ to the poor and those in need. In this presentation, we'll be sharing our history, our work today, and how you can help make a difference in the future of people we serve. The Guadalupe Community Center was founded in 1987 as the result of the efforts of local churches and countless volunteers and donors. At the time, GCC housed 20 people per night in a dormitory-style facility and eventually expanded to 38 beds. Due to the efforts of the Archdiocese of Denver, Greeley Urban Renewal, Greeley Housing Authority, and several businesses and residents, in 2011 the building we have today became a reality. In our first five years at the new shelter, we have served over 2,000 residents, have provided over 97,000 nights of shelter, and have served over 188,000 meals. The reasons an individual might experience homelessness are innumerable, ranging from loss of job and increased rent to mental health, substance abuse, domestic violence, and isolation or loss of support systems. In whichever way these connections have been lost, whether through tragedy or separated as a result of choices, we believe the dignity of each person necessitates the chance to try again. So here at the Guadalupe Community Center and Shelter, we hope to offer a hand in long-term goals, providing for both material and spiritual needs and giving dignity to a population that has often denied it or have forgotten it themselves. Through case manager support, individuals and families are given the opportunity to access various programs in addition to a veteran service program which works with the VA serving veterans in our community. All of our programs within the Guadalupe Community Center and Shelter have zero tolerance rules, meaning no drugs or alcohol can be on the premise or in our client's system. We have many services here at the Guadalupe Center. We see each bed as a resource and for those committed to the program they can take advantage of our numerous services. All of them seek to address a wide spectrum of material and spiritual needs and all of them are only made possible through the generous time and talent of our loving volunteers. Residents work one-on-one -on -one with a case manager in identifying barriers and working toward goals. Their 30th day is critical in the program in the pursuit of the long-term goals because it's by this date that they must show proof of income, proof of savings, proof of housing search, and by accomplishing these things, residents can qualify to stay for additional months. Their success in achieving these goals hinges on the regular service of our volunteers. Our facility is open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If it weren't for our volunteers, whether you're volunteering one time or coming back on a regular basis, it would not be possible to sustain our ministry. But they are also the face of Christ to all who encounter the work they do, showing us what it means to serve selflessly without expecting anything in return. Whether it's sorting donations in the clothing room, deep cleaning in the kitchen, organizing on the family floor, volunteers show us the meaning of the Blessed Mother Teresa's words that we can do small things with great love, teaching us how the unseen and often thankless acts of service can be most heroic. We depend on our volunteers greatly. Both the client and the volunteer have the right to feel safe and comfortable inside the Guadalupe Community Center. If at any time this is compromised, trust your instincts and please notify the staff immediately. Catholic Charities has a strict policy of no physical contact with the children, so they never doubt that they are in a safe and loving place. We desire to provide hope and mercy to all our clients, believing this is at the heart of the Gospel message. As you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. A hand up through services that offer long-term goals rather than a handout, sees the dignity and the potential in each and every person and offers them a way to sustainability. Boundaries are important. Offering rides, lending money, or giving out personal information of any kind is not only unsafe, 
but ultimately unfair. Proper boundaries are the responsibility of both client and volunteer, meaning that volunteers are never to disclose any personal information about themselves to the clients. Volunteers must maintain HIPAA confidentiality about our clients, meaning no disclosing names of clients to outside persons and no use of last names within the building. Volunteers are not to involve clients in any personal business or permit fraternization or harassment of any kind. And if at any time the volunteer feels a client's or another's safety is in imminent jeopardy, they have the duty to disclose by notifying staff immediately. All of these are discussed further in the volunteer handbook. Please take time to review them. Volunteers here at the Guadalupe Center know that every day is about hope. Hope is also a way to remember that each day is about helping with the unpredictable needs of the day. We work in a variable environment, so flexibility in our work is crucial. On the job learning, because of the nature of our work, we know the best training is hands-on training. Perceiving clients' background. We know our clients come from many walks of life. We serve a wide variety of people ranging in age, education, and mental or physical health concerns, as well as varying cultural backgrounds. And lastly, being empathetic to the transitional environment. We have a limited time with our clients, which affects the nature of our work and how we serve the needs of each individual. We are so thankful for volunteers who become a part of our mission. We have one-time volunteer opportunities as well as recurring ones. We ask that all volunteers are 18 years of age or older. All minors ages 10 to 17 must have the parent release completed in their online profile. Volunteers who come back on a regular basis are a critical part of our ministry. If you're passionate about serving in this way, we ask for a four-month commitment. Knowing that consistency in our residents' lives makes a huge impact. When you come into the Guadalupe Center, please remember, wear appropriate clothing, park on the north side of the building, sign in and out at the front desk, be conscious of your safety outside the building. Never hesitate to ask a staff member to walk you to your car, especially in the evening. And if you have to cancel, please contact Monica Gerber at 970-616-8606 so we can get someone to fill in for you. We appreciate your time and attention throughout this orientation. Having completed your online profile, you are almost ready to start volunteering. If you think you'll come back to volunteer more than once, the final steps would be completing your verified volunteer's background check. For those working with children, attend and get your certificate for a called to protect safe environment training. There are many trainings around the diocese and you may attend any of them. A complete listing can be found at ccdenver.org. We hope that your experience here will be a positive one. We're so grateful for your help knowing how residents depend on you. Again, thank you so much for your interest in the Guadalupe Community Center and Shelter. We are inspired by your generosity and look forward to all that the future holds.